Welcome back to the Crooked River and Eastern Railroad. This is just a little uh, video on the Amherst show that I went to uh, a couple weekends ago. My wife and I went for the weekend. Uh, we left Friday, got there Friday afternoon, left to come home Monday morning. So it was a really nice weekend spending with her. Uh, we met some really great people. Um, Chris, the model train aficionado, and his wife, Mary. Uh, our wives hit it off pretty well. That was nice. Uh, they chatted it up while Chris and I were looking at all the fun stuff there. Um, Rail Fan Man, Jason, and uh, Rail Lady 2020, Brenda. We hung out with them Saturday night after we left the show. We might have went to the show. We hung out a little bit there, too. But we went out to dinner. She gave me a really nice gift. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Just a sweetheart. Um, Wife uh, hit it off really well with her. They're both in the in the crafting in that, so that was nice. They kind of chatted about that. So it was a good time. She enjoyed herself as well. We did on Sunday night. We met up with a friend of ours. We haven't seen him probably close to 20 years. She lives in Rhode Island, uh, and they stayed in touch, but we haven't seen her. So it was really nice to meet up with her. Um, the show itself, man, it was massive. It was a little intimidating almost at first when I walked in the door. I couldn't believe how big it was. It was four buildings, and they were all really good-sized buildings. All the big vendors were there, as you know, as most of you have probably seen already. Uh, you know, Scale Trains, Athern, Atlas, Walters, Bachman, geez, KD, all, they're all there, you know. Uh, was, went to the booth with Mini Prince with Bernard, and I got to meet him. He was with Sparky 107-107. Got my mini me, did my scan, and got that done. So look, uh, check out Mini Prints, uh, their website. Uh, probably within the next several weeks, they'll be all up for uh, purchase on the website there. Um, that was a lot of fun, and uh, just so many people met Mike, Trackside Mike over at Otter Valley. He was helping out uh, Lauren and the crew over there. Um, he's a he's a great guy, great character. Had a lot of fun there. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't take a lot of video. Though. I, you know, I walked away. I was like, man, I barely took pictures, video, anything. And, <laughs> you know, I just enjoyed it. I soaked it all in, enjoyed it. I didn't want to live it through a camera lens. So I just lived it in real time. So it was a lot of fun. Um, saw some old friends, met some new friends, um, people I've watched on YouTube for a while, and it was always nice to meet people, you, you feel like you know them already, and it's cool to meet them in person, um, so not much on the layout's been done, um, my second level bench work is complete, problem is I need to get some organization done, got a lot of items, uh, stored on the second level, I need to clean that up, um, Get some three drawer carts uh, or, or something along those lines to help uh, organize all that stuff. So I just got to get the uh, the urge to do it. You know, it's just kind of one of those things that's not fun to do. So, you know, but I can't really move forward with track work up top till I clean up. Um, tinkering around on a workbench uh, with some items, but that'll be a different video eventually. Maybe a February update at some point. But with that being said, I'm going to turn the camera. I'm going to show you some of the items I did purchase. At the end, there'll be some videos, uh, pictures, videos of, of that I did take. Um, little clips here and there. So stay tuned for that. So anyways, catch me on Thursday morning still. See our any morning brew. Uh, I do that every Thursday, 9 a.m. Eastern. So feel free to pop in there. It's a live stream. Um, we can chat about whatever. So hang tight. I'll turn the camera and show you what's, uh, what I got at the show. Stand by. Okay, so I picked up these eight New York Central passenger cars at the train show at Amherst to go with the... Uh, steam locomotive that I picked up 
the Columbus show. I think these will go really well together for a nice excursion. So I'm going to uh, have some interiors made so I can detail them up a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy with it, but maybe a little something. They already do have uh, light bulbs in them, so I'm going to probably change those out to LEDs. So that's the nice thing about it. They already have the pickups and everything. So that'll be really, uh, hopefully that'll be really easy. Okay. Also at the show, I picked up this pneumatic truck and trailer. And I picked up this cab to go with the trailer I already had. Pretty cool Mac, pretty modern. I like. Very happy to get that. All right, so I was at the show. I had all these cool stickers and business cards from all these different vendors. Catherine was there. These are all like individual stickers, so I made a sheet of those. The Modeler's Life, they were there doing a podcast. Got a couple of stickers and a button from them. Of course, we had, uh, I got to see my good old buddy Sparky again. from him got to meet the train that train couple jasmine and frank funny story about that is they only live about I don't know, maybe 20 30 minutes from me i didn't realize how close the hell we were so we're going to try to figure out a way to get together and hang out elmar was there hurricane lines there's a magnet he was handing out of course the nmra was there i did actually join the nmra and they had a special going on they had a button, so I picked that up. Uh, Mohawk Designs. I got a shirt from them, a CSX shirt. They're at a lot of the Ohio shows, too. I see them quite often. And, of course, we had our buddy Mini Prince, Bernard. He had three different little stickers. I picked those up from him. And Otter Valley, around the Layout Podcast. And the cool thing, their business card is... A, uh, it is their business card is a track gauge. Pretty neat. Got a little maple leaf on there. All right. So I got these cool trucks. I got these. These are five bucks. Both of these. Couldn't pass those up. Nothing real overly fancy about them, but they're nice. So I definitely made the trucks. Got these. Picked these couple up over at uh, Spring Creek Model Trains. My wife really liked this one, so she... Uh, it's just in a buy it for me, guys, so how can I turn that down? It's a uh, Burkina, I guess is how you would say it. Nice little Peterbilt. So, found me a pumpkin patch. I want to put that over by the farm. Speaking of the farm, picked up my Lancaster farmhouse. So that's pretty cool. Been looking for that. And then I got the combine. So, and then they had a Scenic Express was there. So I picked up some Scenic Tech. But it'll help me out with my static grass. I also picked up some dead static grass from Hecky. So I forgot to mix that in with some other stuff. And they had these. Let me bring this down. I'm trying to get rid of the glare out of the I can or not, but these are just some scenic mats from MBR. Uh, they're discontinuing them. Scenic Express was. You can still get them through the company, but they weren't going to buy any more from them, I guess. I don't know what the whole story was, but they're just because of modeling fall, they're kind of more, some more dead type grass in there. So I got those. All right, so at the show, I met up with uh, Rail Fan Man and um, Rail Lady 2020. Rail Lady 2020 made me this awesome shadow box. And uh, it has a little remote control that goes with it. 
turns it off and on. So, really, it was sweet of her to do that. No idea she's planning on that. Um, I guess she's uh, going to start making these, maybe. But it's really neat. And I really like it. Nice little addition to the train room. So thank you, Rail Lady 2020. It was great to meet you. Um, my wife loves you. I think she's your sweetheart. So it was awesome that you guys hit it off. And uh, we had a great time at dinner with you guys. So thanks again. Appreciate that. All right, guys. So I'm going to end this with some photos I took, some video clips. Um, just let you enjoy that. A uh, little run by at the end of the layout. Uh, there's a little clip in here of me getting my mini me scan. So look forward to that. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, those will be available on the Mini Prince website. So thanks for hanging in there. I know it's been a long video. Appreciate it. Bye for now. Bernard. Yes. Oh, okay. I was going to see how I'll hold it if you want. Oh, you want to hold it?